So I think this is a great time to do a call out to our Myosite Plus because all the things that you just talked about um, are all in that one formulation. I know that you also have some proprietary um, percentages of different ingredients that we can use. So let's highlight the Myosite because I think it's undersold, it's underutilized, and it's such a powerhouse. So the Myosite Plus has gone through a number of formulations throughout the years. One of the reasons being is that, you know, as the company and as the product has evolved, so too have the peptides. One of the great things about working with the suppliers is that they will take a concept, they'll continuously improve on the version of that technology. And this holds true, especially with the peptides, where they'll, they'll make one and then they'll make it better and then they'll make it even better, getting higher levels of performance all the time. So the Myosite Plus is really a product that's designed to address expression lines. So it really is for those areas where you've got deeper lines of expression, anywhere that wrinkles are, are forming, and keep in mind that wrinkles always form perpendicular to the long axis of muscle contraction, which is a really fancy way of saying that wrinkles form against where muscles contract. So if you have the frontalis muscle that contracts upwards, wrinkles form vertically across the forehead. The obicularis oculi muscles, which run in circular bands around the eyes, form vertical lines, contractual lines here around the eyes of crow's feet. Uh, vertical lines around the mouth, the obicularis oris muscles contract this way, so you get those little, what we call smoker's lines. So to really address muscle contraction, you've got to help to soften that muscle contraction, right, the contraction lines, and also simulate the connective tissue. So with the blend of peptides that we have in this Myosite Plus, we're able to do all of that. So we have two of the original peptides, Matrixyl and Matrixyl 3000. These are tried and true peptides, high performance, they address specifically collagen types one, three, and four, because again, you've got 25 different types of collagen and one, three, and four are the ones that help with structural integrity of the dermis. You've got probably the best combination of muscle contraction inhibiting peptides that are available on the market, and I've worked with all of them. Um, the latest, greatest version of the original called Argyroline, which was launched in 2003, was something called Snap8. And uh, the company that makes it, we've known them very well, and we kind of have a tendency to get our hands on things pretty quickly, uh, and sometimes even before the rest of the market is able to, to see them. But it's a combination of something called Snap8 and Inulin, and this is really their powerhouse combination. And it's, again, designed to address that muscle contraction mechanism, but there's two parts of that pathway that both Snap8 and Inulin are addressing separately. So you're getting a much more well-rounded way of helping to address all of those expression lines.